So as you know, the blend tool does some uniform blends, but as you can see in this scenario, it actually does the opposite. So this is like really bizarre and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and select the type tool. I went with the mango grotesque extra bold italic font. Let's go to the fill and stroke, swap it and click on the fill and select the color for it. I gotta go with an orange and I also gonna create a new copy and I gonna make this lighter and press and hold alt, create another copy and I gonna right click on this, arrange, send to back. Now click on the fill, click on the black. So this one's gonna be black. Now, right now I won't need the light orange. I gonna work with these. Let's select both. Let's go to the object, click on blend and select make. And now I'm going to go and double click on the blend here. Select specify steps, increase the number. So you got a lot of copies, click OK. And now I'm going to go and double click here on the bottom text and I'm going to select it. And as you can see, it's selected because it shows the bounding box of the bottom text. And now let's go to the effects, distort and transform and select pucker and bloat. And you can decrease it or you can also increase it to achieve some really interesting distorted blend effect here. I'm thinking to push it up all the way to 100, actually 200 and click OK. Now I'm going to double click release and I'm going to move the slider one on the top until they snap. And I'm going to select another rectangle and just draw a rectangle, right click, arrange, send it back. And look at that. You also can double click on the bottom text, select it and just bring it up. So this way it's going to have like a shorter blend. And that's how you make this really interesting blend effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.